Well, welcome in. My name is Bennett from Bennett and Raven. Uh, weekday mornings on TDY, so good to be here. Good to have our performance space filled up again. This is very exciting. We love having guests in, and we love having you guys here. Uh, two sold out shows, the TLA, right? This is a big moment for, for Fletcher, and we're so honored and privileged to have her here. I think she's ready. I think if we make a lot of noise, she'll come on out. Does that work for you guys? Yeah. Make some noise. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! 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 Good. Thank you so much for being here, man. Hello, guys. What's up? How are you? You're nervous? Why are you nervous? We're just hanging out. Hi, guys. We're just chilling. It's a big, big fun group. We're a big <laughs> fun fam. A big fun Fletch fam. Big fun Fletch fam. How has your stay in Philadelphia been? This is what, night two? Of this your... is night two. Yeah. yeah, it's been great. I mean, you guys are going to the World Series. What? Yeah, I know. I was like joking before because I was like last night. I was like, "What are we going?" I didn't, was like, "The world what?" I was like, "Cup." I'm like, "What's happening?" I don't. <laughs> do we do score sports. touchdowns? What's happening? Yeah, yeah I'm like, "What, what is are this? the soccer goals? Are we having scoring goals?" Great. Okay. Cool. So I just go off, Philly. Just yeah, you guys are good Pop at sports, off, apparently. Crushing it. Yeah. Did you go out and party after the show? Because I didn't. I was like lame last night, and I just I was like pretty wiped after the show. But um, some of my band went out and like celebrated, and was like getting rowdy with everybody. So we gotta talk to them because I wonder if they uh, climb the poles. That's a thing. No, but I I read an article that the poles get gre they were Greece. greased, yeah. so you can't Crisco do it. Poles. Oh, they find a way. Do people they, still climb the wall? Oh, Just they like do. Spider-Man out there? And they succeed. Yes, there's a method to the madness. Wow. I'm impressed. You were at the game. Did you climb the poles afterwards? No? You That's kept like it? giving chaos. <laughs> it's a lot of chaos. Yeah. Well, you picked a really good time to be here. We're, yeah, we're so grateful to stop by here. Of course. Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, you're such a friend of the, of the radio station. We go back. We have so much history. And yeah, we go back. The last time that I was here, I had food poisoning, and I, like, fucked up your guys' bathroom. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything, like, but since you brought TDY. it up, it was bad. No, it was our old building. I was, like, really sick. I, like, really didn't feel well. I was like, excuse me while I go just, like, vomit and have, like, explosive diarrhea in your guys' bathroom. <laughs> well, we had to move. That's why we're here now. <laughs> I know. You guys, like, guys, the, the, the real reason we moved, Fletcher ruined TDY's plumbing. Yeah, there was no going back, so. <laughs> Literally had to get a would. new building. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. Um, but now we're here. So I, I, this is my redemption today. Yes. Yeah. Well, we appreciate that. And last time we, we talked was on Instagram Live. We talked for like a half hour during the pandemic. And yeah. Do you remember that? I'm, I do. I remember it being very therapeutic. I'm not sure what we discussed, but I remember feeling really better We were just about deep in our feels. Life. And we were just confused about like what was happening with the world. And it was very emotional. And we it's were like, like a therapy session, but a therapy session, on yeah. Instagram Live. Yeah. Um, it tends to be how my conversations in life sort of go. It was like sort of go. Twitter. It was, it was very yeah, like, nice. I felt yeah. better about myself. Oh, uh, that's that's the last time we, we spoke. Mm -hmm. So we have some catching up to do. Yeah. You are touring now, but mm -hmm. an album. How are we loving this album, by the way? <laughs> so, so good. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. How has life been? I mean, it's, what, two years now? That's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's been pretty wild. I mean, I think um, this album, Girl of My Dreams, is really like a time capsule of the last two years of my life and the last two years of my growth and kind of like picks up both sonically and thematically, like with where I left off with the sex tapes, which was my... Um, my last EP that I put out and yeah the inspiration like behind Girl of My Dreams and like the title for it too is my mom used to have this recurring dream all the time when she was a little girl of like a little girl with long black curly hair but she could only ever see her from the back and and she had it all through up till when she was pregnant with me and so she thought that it like might be her daughter one day and then I was born and I did not have long black curly hair and so it, that really like became kind of like a metaphor for my life in the sense that um, I wasn't exactly what people like thought or hoped that I would be growing up in a really small conservative town and like knowing that I was queer from a pretty young age. Um, and so I realized pretty quickly that I like wasn't the girl of my mom's dreams. And it wasn't until I got to college that I was able to like explore myself and my sexuality. And I thought like, you know, the first girl might be the girl of my dreams who I wrote like you were in New York City for me about. And then I thought like the next person with the sex tapes, like I thought maybe like she was the girl of my dreams. And then as I was writing this album through this music, I discovered that I'm like, oh no, bitch, like it's you. Like, 
you're the girl of your dreams. Um, and Retweet. <laughs> and that's been kind of like the missing link the whole time. So that's sort of the, the journey that this album has taken me on. And, and it's been really fun getting to like play it. I'm on my fourth tour of this year, which is That's wild. You're, you're wild. making up for lost time. I really am. I just was like, you guys take me away from my people <laughs> for two, two years. I'm just going full force back into it. Doing the most. Uh, and this album is so <laughs> vulnerable, so honest. You sound amazing on it, by the way. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to think of some of my favorite tracks. Holiday is one of my favorites. Oh. Uh, Better Version is one of my favorites. Is there um, a favorite for you? Is that are the most personal, the one that you were like, I really cannot wait for my fans to listen to this one? Oh, I just was like so excited to p share the whole album. Like, it's like choosing a favorite child anytime. Cause then I feel like right. it also kind of changes for me too, depending on the mood that I'm in or like the day of what my favorite is. Right now, I think my favorite is Serial Heartbreaker. But um, I think one of the songs I was most, the most excited to share was Better Version. Yeah. That Super sounds good. really special to me. Yeah. Do we have a favorite? Do we have? I was so curious to like ask. I was so curious to like find out like what the. Uh, I love you, bitch is good. I love you, bitch. Yeah. I love that one too. I keep forgetting the lyrics to it. Every night I'm on stage, though. I don't know what's happening to me. The pre-chorus just fucks me up. I can't remember the words. And so I have to look out into the audience, and I'm like, "What? Didn't I? I forgot it last night." That's amazing. I was like, "What?" I'm it happens every time I sing it. That's I just, It's just a part of it now that I just am like, I've been writing it on my hand. I still have like a little Stop. bit of the remnants That's <laughs> of the lyric. Yeah, it's the rhyme scheme. Mm. It messes me up. Do you have to like look at their like lips to see what they're mouthing? Be like, oh, that's right. That's yeah, the lyrics. And then I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, my contacts were a little blurry too last night. And I'm like trying to see. I'm like, what the fuck? How does the second verse start? <laughs> I'm like, sing it back to me. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me my words. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, it's a relationship, you know? I'm yeah. like, thank God I have you. You guys got my back. I got yours. You got mine. So how has Tor been? What's, what's on the Fletcher Rider? I'm so curious. What do you need to feel like, you know, you're at home every stop you're at? This feels so off-brand, but usually tequila is on my rider, but I've taken it off this tour. Why? So I'm not getting alcohol on my rider this tour. Because I just have been touring so much of this year, and I've just been, like, partying and, like, so excited and... It's just taken such a toll on my body. And I've been really trying to like practice having more presence in my life lately. And alcohol is just always such an easy crutch, you know, because I have a lot of social anxiety too. And so it's just like an easy thing. And I used to be like, oh, I have to take a shot before I go out on stage. And then I just, this is the first tour that I just like, no, I'm gonna be like fully just show up as myself and take all the nerves and take all the feelings. And it's actually been like really, lovely and like I feel more present and I remember my show and I'm enjoying my shows more um so tequila is not on the Fletcher <laughs> tequila okay, doesn't okay. hit no more <laughs> which is a lyric in girl of my dreams and um yeah I don't know just basic th like water and water food look that at you I've got cashews on there specifically hummus and crackers a veggie tray um what else I'm trying to think if there's anything weird just like throat coat tea it's pretty basic. It's Those like are really crucial. Those work, the throat coats. They yeah, do. That's where yeah. it's, at. it's really not that exciting. No. I wish I had a better an answer for you, but <laughs> I've heard of crazy riders, though. Like some artists will request like only green M&Ms or like only red M&Ms, like only like certain colors of candy. And I'm like, what? Who are you? Well, yeah. like, who are you? Why? <laughs> Why? How Does the green like... taste different? The green M and M tastes fucking different than the red M and M. It's like, oh, isn't it all chocolate? I don't yeah. know. I'm like, confused. how did you find out you were only the green M and M type? Like, how did that? Yeah, how did you find that out? Yeah, like, yeah, what? yeah. Like, what happened? Uh, what happened to you that you were just like? <laughs> yeah. It's red M and M's only. Only. Like, okay. Sorry, I can't even look at the other colors. I feel like I should just do that one day and just, th just let people think people. that I'm yeah. like that kind of. Like <laughs> that kind of girl. Just be like really the next time I come, we're gonna be like yellow starburst only. only. I actually do only like the yellow starburst though. And it's starting, which, which it's already starting. A, which is a bit of a serial killer answer because I feel like people don't like the yellow one. Everyone's like it's pink or red. I like the yellow. And I also want them yeah. to bring back the green lime flavored Skittle. Very specific. Right? And a lot of the people co-signing. Wow. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. the lemon and lime together is just a whole vibe. It's true. Anyway, I don't know how we got to this topic. <laughs> I want to ask you this because you are a singer-songwriter, and I love uh, asking songwriters this. The song you wish you wrote, 
You write a lot of amazing songs. We talked about a bunch that's on your new album. But maybe in the last year or two, you heard a song, you're like, shit, I got to get in the studio because that's really good, and I wish I wrote that. The answers so far have been pretty interesting when I asked this. I was just curious. Just like anything on Midnight's. <laughs> How is she still like, man, she, she does not her miss. Her brain, her brain. The way that she writes is like unlike anything I have ever. She's like a fucking mastermind poet yeah. and so brilliant. Like anything, genuinely. Like she is like, I think, one of the best writers of our time, of all time. Easily. Taylor right? Swift, yeah. So Easily. anything off Midnight's. Yeah. And like currently I'm vibing with like questions, Antihero, mm. Vigilante shit. Snow on the Beach kind of hits in like a weird emotional way. Um, and Maroon. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. She, she doesn't miss. I'm clearly a fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You, you were binging over noticed. the weekend, weren't you? Yeah. yeah, I was like laying in my... But here's the deal. I was laying in my bed. I'm sleeping on a tour bus, this tour. And I'm laying in my bunk. And I'm like bouncing down the road as we're like driving <laughs> at like 5 o'clock in the morning. Can't sleep a wink. And I'm like, this is exactly the way Taylor Swift would want me to listen to this album. Like, in the middle of the night, my thoughts are racing. I'm in this, like, coffin bunk having an existential crisis about my life. That's exactly the way that that's, she would want me to setting. listen to this it's, album. That's it. That's the aesthetic. That's perfect. So, I, I, she cur like, we curated that vibe together. Beautifully chaotic. I love it. Exactly. We have a bunch of Twitter questions. Uh, did you guys submit questions online? Maybe? I have names here, so if... If it's you, make some noise. If not, we can just pretend. Cece? Cece here? You're Cece. We'll go with you. What's been your favorite song? <laughs> Cece, good to have you here. What's been your favorite song to perform on uh, tour so far? Um, my favorite song to perform on tour, Becky So Hot goes off in like the craziest way. And, and then Serial Heartbreaker is like a close follow-up to that. Yeah. Good question. Laura wants to know, what was the hardest part of recording Girl of My Dreams? The hardest part. Ooh. The hardest part of recording Girl of My Dreams was probably, I was like really emotional the day that I recorded the better version vocals. I actually never went back and re-recorded those vocals. The vocals are just the day of scratch demo from the day that I wrote it. So they, those vocals never changed. Because I just I went to try to recut it again and it just didn't have the same like emotion, um, so yeah I think just like the sad songs are the ones that probably are the hardest to record. Uh, Sarah wants to know how many songs did you record uh, for the album that didn't make it? My God, I have a f I have I have a playlist probably of like close to a thousand unreleased songs and unreleased music. A thousand. Like of just from my like life over the as like a songwriter over the last like few years, yeah, easily. What are you gonna do with those? <laughs> deluxe I don't album? Know. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I definitely. Do you guys want a deluxe album? Let's you start some something here. Yeah. For, fuck you for ruining New York City for me. We're getting close. We get it just. I actually saw somebody tweet that. And it was making me laugh. I'll have to share that at some point in life. Yeah, yeah, that's gotta come. Uh, let's see. What's your strategy for balancing touring, performing, and your personal life? Keeping all that together. Uh, uh, Laura wants I'm to know that. I'm taking tips, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Anyone have answers for that? It's quite difficult. Um, yeah, I just have been in like show and tour and like performance mode for so long now um but I think just leading up to the show like doing things that just are good for my soul and feel like you know like I, I don't know I'm just I'm kind of like a loser like I'm really kind of a nerd you know I'm like not that cool just like go outside take a walk get a smoothie um I do like a lot of like journaling and like some meditation and just things to try to just like keep me grounded and I call my friends and my family and my people and while I'm on the road. Um, yeah. More water, less tequila, right? More water, yeah. more herbal teas these days. I like it. Yeah, I'm kind of more of a chamomile than tequila girl lately. I like that. Uh, Allie says, what's your favorite moment from everything you've done in 2022 so far? Oh, God. That's a big, yeah, that's a big question. 
My favorite moment. Um, the first, the first time that I went that I played a show again was for the first time in almost three years. Was this year? Um, at the beginning of this year was my first tour, and that show is very burned in my mind because I developed a lot of performance anxiety and just anxiety in general, like over the pandemic, a lot of social anxiety, performance anxiety. And I was really terrified to go be in front of people again. It was like the scariest idea to me. And then when I finally did it, I just like remembered how amazing it felt to just like perform for people that know my music. And, and I just felt so connected like in that moment. So I think yeah, getting to go back on the road again is probably um, been one of my favorite moments of 2022. I love that. Uh, Sammy wants to know, what's your Halloween costume going to be this year? Any ideas? Well, I'm playing two shows for Halloween. I'm playing um, at Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. And so I have a theme. The first night is Sweet Dream, and the second night is Beautiful Nightmare. So it's themed shows. So I'm not going to reveal what my costumes are, but I will reveal that those are the themes, and I'm still, f I'm still figuring mm. out what my costume is, to be honest. But I will be dressing up, and okay. I want anyone who's coming to the show to dress up as oh, well. Oh, I love that. Where are the shows? Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City. Uh, anyone traveling for that, too? I knew really? it. Yeah, Yay. they got teddy bears and flowers. Of course they're going to go. That's so cute. That's amazing. You have the best fans. Uh, yeah, what really song do. took the longest to write for the album? Ask Heather. Um, Serial Heartbreaker went through like quite a few different choruses. Uh, it was like at first, Cry Baby, I'm a Soft Heartbreaker. And then it was Cry Baby, um, I can't remember what the other versions of it was, but it, we went through like a ton of different versions of the chorus. And then I finally, I was like, Serial, I was like, that's the word. So then my songwriter brain was like, ding, 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 ding. Does it happen Winner. often where you're just toying with things to like the last minute and you're like, you're just. Um, so it depends. Like sometimes it just like comes right out exactly as is and in yeah. the moment. Um, you know, I, there was like originally like a different second verse to Becky So Hot. Really? Yeah, but it was really crazy. <laughs> so I changed the lyrics. <laughs> crazy how? Like, just couldn't release it. Gotcha. <laughs> when you it's know the what light I mean? of day, kind of crazy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, that didn't, yeah. So I rewrote, I, I wrote a second verse to that, like uh, shortly after writing it for the first time. I would love to. So hear still that like verse. in the time frame of it, but I know, I know. So I've like played it back before, and I'm like, oh, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to say where that line gets drawn because that's also a crazy song in general. You know what I mean? But. So who is, who's drawn the line? Like, is you hearing it back, being like, okay, that's too much, or is it labeled? Yeah, it's or me. Is it, it's just, it's, my, it's it's just me. you. It's me being like, I don't, yeah, can't <laughs> release this. <Yeah. laughs> We've gone too far. Yeah. Uh, who would be your top three choices to collab with? Uh, ask Jeff. Where's Jeff at? Who wants to be Jeff? There's a right answer. I know what your answer is. <laughs> um, my top, top, top collabs would be Taylor Swift. Halsey. Yeah, yeah, that's Can I have five? Sure. <laughs> Keep going. Um, Harry Styles. Um, Miley Cyrus. And Post Malone. Let's go. Yeah, A plus responses. <laughs> Can yeah, we make that happen too? Can we just manifest just this? all of us on one song? Yes. Some huge, weird orgy of like a lot of sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All meshed together. That'd be amazing though. I'm here for it. Um, what is something you're looking forward to in 2023? The year is actually almost over, which is kind of crazy. Almost November. Yeah. Anything like looking ahead? Um, I am going on tour. Surprise! <laughs> again. It's me again. Um, I'm going on tour in Europe. I'm going to be opening for Panic at the Disco for their European tour. Which I'm really, really, my inner Freaking. emo child is like <laughs> fangirling real, real hard. Yeah. So I'm looking really forward to that. Yeah. When is your next free time? Uh, <laughs> uh. 
after this tour, like after this tour ends, I'm gonna like take a nap or yeah, something. Yeah, right. Close your eyes for five minutes. Yeah, and then you're a, in Europe. Take a little nap for like the remainder of this year. Yeah. <laughs> Just like knock me out. Wake me up when December <laughs> ends. ends. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so night two in Philly, are mm-hmm. you gonna go explore it all? Have you had a cheesesteak? Are um, you? Oh, cheesesteak. Um, it's that's that's been my request from my tour manager after we get off stage just to have a cheesesteak waiting for me. So we're doing cheesesteaks tonight. Yes. Yes. It's lit- I love cheesesteak so well, you much. You came to a good spot. Well, where do I, where's what? Where, I don't I don't know Philly cheesesteaks. I just am like I'm getting like Jersey versions my whole life. Uh, Jim's? Well, R- R.I.P. Jim's will be back soon. Monkey wrench, though. I have to have yeah. it on gluten-free bread. That's the thing. The I what have bread? I get it on gluten-free bread. I have a gluten allergy, so that's, like, lame, you know? Yeah, but I got to find... I'll find it. I've had one here before, and it was, like... I thought about it for weeks. Yeah, what are we saying? Delisandro's. That's a good one. We'll have a whole list of recommendations. Great. We'll We'll be your tour guides for the next 24 hours. Lovely. Uh, Cute. Th- thank you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, guys. Thanks How amazing is Fletcher? Me. Ha, 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 ha.